Hey everyone, welcome to the first of my Clan Blitz tip series. I'm assuming you guys understand the basic gist of how the mode works, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give you some tips. Let's get sweaty. Number 1. Pay attention to the enemy clam count. This tells you how many clams your enemy has. You should always, always be paying attention to this. If they have 5 or more, there is a possible threat incoming and you need to defend. They could score a sneaky goal, which I'm sure every one of you has been caught off guard by that at least once. In this clip, the match is about to end and we have their basket open, but someone on the enemy team still has a bunch of clams. So what did I do? I went and defended. Let's look at another example. If they have like 10 or more clams, your team should be back there defending. Unless one of your teammates already has a football and is basically at their basket. But the general idea is that if they have 10 or more, your team should be back there defending and preventing the enemy from breaking the barrier. Notice how my teammate came out and helped. In this clip, my teammate Water tells us to follow them. But they clearly were not paying attention to the enemy clam count and decides to run off. Guess what happened? Because they didn't help defend, the enemy scored. So be sure to look at the enemy clam count every couple of seconds. Because one second they could have two clams, and then three seconds later they could have nine or twelve clams. So always look at the enemy clam count and defend if need be. Number 2. Don't be shellfish. Pass your clams. If your teammate has 6 or more clams, pass your clams to them. Always do this, but don't give that person enough for 10 if they're not near the basket. Because once they have 10, they light up, the enemy can see where that person is, and it'll be that much harder for your teammate to get close. Take this clip for example. My teammate gave me 10, and the enemy completely shut me down. I couldn't get in closer like how I originally wanted to. There was a reason why I deliberately picked up only 9 clams. So instead, wait until your teammate gets close to the basket to give them their 10th clam. Because once the enemy sees that you have a football, and you're near their basket, it's already too late. Thank you, Sammy Colin Jack. You're such a sweetie pie. Sammy Colin Jack, I love you. So remember, pass your clams, but only give them their 10th if they're near the basket. Number 3. Defend when they've broken your barrier. When the enemy team breaks your barrier, everyone, and I mean everyone, has to go back and defend until the barrier is back up. When an enemy throws a clam into your basket, it keeps the basket open even longer by adding more time to it. So remember, when they break your barrier, you have to defend. You have to prevent them from keeping the basket open and constantly throwing clams in there. Take this clip for example. My teammate Ares is out on the field looking for clams and not defending.
And guess what? We lost because that person was not helping. Even if you have a ton of clams or a football, go back and help your team. I don't care if you're already near their basket because if they keep throwing clams in there and you're in their base doing absolutely nothing, they're going to keep scoring, they're going to keep your basket open, and you won't be able to do anything with your clams or football. Take this clip for example. My teammates are throwing clams in their basket. This guy right here, he was smart. He jumped back to help defend. This guy though, he was so selfish about keeping his football and fixated on scoring that our team just kept throwing clams in there and we won. If you're waiting in their base, hoping and assuming your team can defend the basket, well I've got bad news for you because that is going to cost you the match. What if your team wasn't able to hold them off like I was showing you earlier? Was it because your teammates sucked? No, it's because they were more than likely outnumbered 4-3 to three because you, the fourth player that your team so desperately needed back there, was waiting in their base doing nothing. But you're like Sam. Jumping back causes you to lose your clams. And if you didn't know that, well, now you do. You lose all of them. But it doesn't matter if you lose them because those clams or football that you're preciously and selfishly holding on to will mean nothing if they win the match. So go back and defend. Number four, jump to your teammates with the football. If you can't get close to the basket with the football, and your teammate is already there, jump to your teammate with it. Number five, do not swim away with the freebie football. What's the freebie football? It's the one given to your team after the enemy has scored a goal. Now I've seen teammates grab the freebie and try to swim to the enemy base with it. If you try to do that, first of all, it is highly unlikely you're going to score a goal with that right away. Because once you grab the freebie from your base, you light up like a squid mystery, and as you try to swim towards their base, they're going to see you from a mile away, and they're going to shut you down. Like so. Instead, only, only, only grab the freebie if your teammate is near their basket. That way with the previous tip I showed you, you can easily jump to your teammate and score a goal. Now I bet you, after I showed you that, you're like, I'm going to try to do that every single time. No. Check the map first before grabbing the football. If your teammate is not in the position where you can easily score a goal upon landing, don't even think about touching the football. And do not, do not, do not, I repeat, do not sit there and stare at the map waiting for your teammate to maybe get into a good position. Remember, the longer you sit there and do nothing, the more it's going to screw your team over. So if you check the map and your teammates are not in a good position for you to jump and immediately score the freebie football, just leave the freebie where it is, move out, and help your team. Then when you or your teammate respawns, the freebie is still there, and when you guys check the map, and if the opportunity presents itself, you can go ahead and do it. Anyway, that's it for now. Please, please, please share this. This mode is probably the hardest one for people to understand. And if there is at least one weak person in your team that doesn't understand these fundamentals, you can kiss the match goodbye. The first three tips I gave you are so important. And I still don't see some people in S plus clan blitz do these things. It boggles the mind. I don't get it. And if you want Rainmaker, Tower Control, Splat Zone, Salmon Run, or general tips, the Rainmaker and General Tips should help you with this mode too. You can find all of those in the YouTube video description below. 
Anyway, I love you guys. I hope these help. I'll be making more shortly. Bye.